I just filmed a May Bank holiday trip up to the Lake District. That will be launched very soon. And pulled into T-Bay southbound services to see if any queues were building up at the Tesla supercharger. Now T-Bay is my favourite supercharger ever. The best I've found anywhere in the UK so far. Was I in for a shock? Dave takes it on, looks at what happened in this short update video with a longer detail video in a week or two. As there is a massive amount of movement there, not all Tesla. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss it. Well, I pulled in and found that the eight V2 chargers that I had used on the 12th of April this year, just six weeks ago, in the snow, were now disconnected and covered in black polythene. Directly opposite, 20 feet away, were 12 brand new V3 250 kilowatt chargers fitted just last week, basking in glorious sunshine. T-Bay has been in the news a few times regarding queues, and I've experienced them myself. The main problem was that the V2 chargers are 150 kilowatt, but share the power between two charger bays, so in busy times, all chargers offer no more than 75 kilowatts. Charging takes forever, so queues build up. The V3 chargers offer 250 kilowatt but not shared, so each charger is capable of the full 250 kilowatts. Most Teslas, Teslas cannot accept this. Earlier models like mine take 150, most Model 3s and Ys take 175, while the long range and performance versions of all Teslas can take the full 250. I was there on a bank holiday Monday, near to lunchtime, and found no more than eight in use at any time, and a really fast turnover. It was busy, and the cars were in and out all the time. This is really great to see. I'm sorry I couldn't wait for any afternoon rush, so I'll try and do that on my next trip. I then drove the short distance to the northbound services and found just two grid-served dual chargers. Strangely, with just three bays for four cables. I think they were 60 kilowatts, but directly opposite was a small building site where the bases for what looked like some brand new chargers were being prepared. I took some film, photographs, and then returned to the southbound services and met up with Nabil, who is the chief executive officer of the two sites, and spent a good 20 minutes discovering what charging was really like from the point of view of a site manager. That also will be a separate video shortly, and it totally opened my eyes to the problems motorway services and charger networks are having to overcome on a daily basis. Nabil also told me that the grid surf chargers on the northbound services were going to be six 300 kilowatt chargers, each with two bays, so 12 chargers in total. They're likely to be installed in a few weeks and connected and operational by a target date in September. I will be back up there in a few weeks where I'll try and get some more photographs and footage and see if I can meet up with Nabil again and learn some more. Hope this helps. I'm Dave.